What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is That Yuna Chick and I am Yuna. Hello, hello, hello and welcome. Welcome back if you have been here before and welcome if you're new. Hi. Today's topic is another weird topic. Uh, apparently, I've been seeing in the past few weeks that women in New York are being punched in the face. Like, a lot. It's weird. Okay, so just, yeah, it's kind of insane. Let's, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Let's dive right into it. So there's been several reports of women getting punched in the face in New York. Here are a few. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground and now this giant goose egg is forming and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so crazy. So I just got punched in the face walking home. I was with my coworkers yeah, we were just talking. walking in Times Square. Yeah. So be safe out there. I got punched in the face on the streets in New York City. So the biggest one that came out of all that was from Haley. And then there was Michaela and then there was others. There was lots and lots of others. It seems like a lot of these women are being punched in the face while they're least expecting it. So they're like on their phone, having their head down headphones on, where they seem to be ignoring their surrounding a lot and uh, obviously it's all, not the best but like as you do like you don't think that people are gonna come and attack you and uh, yeah randomly a guy comes in and just <laughs> sucker punch them just out of the blue like g g like su and goes like there's no there's no stealing of phone there's no robbery there's nothing else there's no insulting there is none of that just and go. I. Why? Why? Why is this happening? New York, what is going on? Like, you know, recently I saw that you guys are having like armed police in the subway, like full on armed police in the subway. Like, New York seems to be wilding a little bit. I mean, usually it's Florida, but I don't know. <laughs> So the one thing that did shock me is that the more I was looking at the at the videos that I found, the more, like, obviously I was looking down in the comments, and then what I saw in the comments is that people were saying this is called the knockout game. The knockout game. What? And apparently this is a game that happened like 10 years ago. And sure enough, I went on YouTube to look at this thing called the knockout game, and there were videos from 10 years ago about people getting sucker punched and the whole point of the game was to see if you could punch somebody and knock them out in just one go and it was mostly targeted to white males frightening it's even deadly and it is gaining in popularity if you can even believe it the knockout game has police in several states on their heels people going up to strangers punching them and running off why is it happening and how widespread is it? CNN's Pamela Brown has been looking into this. What are you learning about this? I mean, let's be honest, this stupid game. It's stupid. It's very disturbing, Kate, and it's frankly dangerous. And in fact, incidents believed to be linked to the knockout game have been reported in at least six states. It could happen to you, anyone walking down the street. One minute you're minding your own business. The next, a complete stranger deliberately knocks you to the ground. Across the country, police are struggling to tally the full impact of this deadly game. And we want to warn you, this video you're about to watch may be tough to watch. It's a painful scene to watch. You know, the video speaks for itself, but I don't remember it happening when it happened. Unsuspecting 50-year-old teacher James Adelsperger walks toward a group of boys. Then, seemingly out of nowhere, one of them violently knocks him to the ground. His limp body lies on the concrete as the group walks away. Uh, I was shocked at the... Uh... I was shocked at the, at, at the whole narrative of it. And boom, came the punch and down I went, uh, you know, uh, straight down with my face falling and hitting the cold concrete. This attack happened in 2012 in Pittsburgh, but the so-called knockout or one-hit quitter game apparently has spread elsewhere. Videos of attacks posted online. First oh, Missouri, Minnesota, Illinois, Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, and Washington, D.C. Just some of the places victims have reported being punched on the streets for no reason. In a few of the cases, the victims died. 
Flowers marked the spot where a homeless man in New Jersey was beaten to death in September, allegedly by these teenagers. In Brooklyn, New York police are investigating this attack. The victim is sucker punched as he walks down the street. And apparently this concept has been revamped. And it now attacks, I guess, women in New York. This why? No, why? Why? And even though there's been a lot of attacks in the past weeks, right? Because this is where like it's coming out. Like you know, uh, CNN is talking about it. BBC is talking. Like everybody's talking about it. And uh, uh, this has been happening for a while. Uh, there's a woman that claimed that this happened to her two years ago. This woman posted about getting punched in the face two years ago. Oh my actual god, I literally just got punched in the face by a homeless man. Like literally walking to the gym. There's another woman that says that this happened to her in September of last year. And then a lot more recently in December. Oh, uh, the what's her name? Bethany Frankel. Bethany Frankel, uh, Real Housewives in New York. She got attacked. She said she was somewhere like trying to take a video of like a bakery or something and just like boom. But she said that like she was not really punched, that she was slapped. But I mean, she was still attacked. It's weird. Bethany Frankel is joining a list of women, including TikTok influencer known as Hallie Kate, who claim they were punched walking on the streets of New York City in broad daylight. I stopped at this cute little like deli bakery, tiny place, and I walked in and I was shooting the baked goods. And as I turned around, I mean, the place was the size of a bathroom, turned around to walk out the door. I was walking out the door and this guy punched me, hit me is more, it wasn't like a closed fist, just hit me in the face. Didn't know that it had been multiple people. I just saw one person say it. I was like, oh my God, the same thing happened to me. So apparently somebody has been arrested. You know, like at the beginning we saw Haley's video. Uh, the man that assaulted her, he got arrested. He was arrested and his name is Skibo, Skiboki Sorta, no, Skiboki Stora. Skiboki, sort of. I kind of like that. That's funny. <laughs> like, sort of, kind of, yeah, sort of. No, but Stora, Stora. Uh, apparently, he was arrested on March 27 for punching Haley. This man apparently ran for City Council of New York. He did not go far. It was a complete fail. Nobody voted for him, but damn. That's how much he thought of himself. He also calls himself the grandson of Marcus Garvey. And if you don't know, Marcus Garvey is like a very big Jamaican political activist. Jamaican the crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I go in my own world sometimes. Please, please don't don't be offended. Okay. Um, and also he is a rapper. Who would see that coming? And he raps a lot about political stuff. Who knew? <laughs> But apparently this is the guy that had punched Haley. But the one thing that seems apparent is that even though he was arrested, he doesn't seem to be connected to any of the other punching. Which we can conclude that that means that several men are doing this. Not only the one guy, but several men are doing this. So if several men are doing this, that means that this has become a movement. There's a movement out there that is designed to assault women. Amazing, amazing. And the police apparently can't do shit about it. Another amazing thing, <laughs> because if they have no idea who these people are and then no way to contact them and all you can be like, it was this guy, he wear this, this, this and that, they can't really do anything about it. It's hard, like if there's no actual camera footage or you know anything like that, it can't really do anything about it. Isn't that is that fun? Is that fun? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And believe me, I I who have been assaulted before, I uh, had to deal with police, and police can't do shit. It's rare that they're willing to do something. But since I mean this has gone viral, maybe they're trying a little bit harder. Also, one thing that like drove me a little bit nuts, you know, proving that this is a movement is that when I was looking up at TikToks, you know, about Skiboki and him being arrested and of course follow other TikTokers or what they had to say and stuff like that. 
Uh, I saw a lot in the comment section that people were saying things like, well, not people, men were saying things like, well, who's gonna take over now? Oh no, this is so sad. Like, actually being on his side. Now, I don't know if they were being sarcastic, if it was just funny to them, but I mean, saying things like, well, who's gonna take over now? shows that there's a lot of anger towards women in New York, apparently, or in the world, apparently. And that I, what's going on? Why? It, the, I, yeah, men, are you okay? I mean, I'm asking you, why, why is this happening? I, I don't know. Like, I saw this happening, I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to get more information. There's not that many information. It's happening. We've arrested somebody, but he's not the only one. There's a lot of other men doing it, and apparently they're happy about it because they put it in the comments and TikToks. And that's scary. And no one's doing anything about it. Cops can't do anything about it. My thoughts? Obviously, this is awful. As a woman, I think, who has been assaulted before, I think this is awful. Like, and that more should be able to protect us. We should be able to wear whatever we want. We should be able to go out in the street uh, listening to music or look down on our phone if we want it. It's not fair that we're asked to always being the one that has to be on the lookout, having to survey everything and make sure that nobody is going to do anything, you know, to us. And now every time that we go out, a man that just approaches us or wants anything to do with us or just takes one right turn, we get frightened and we, and then you're like, you guys are crazy. I feel gaslit. <laughs> it's not, it's not fair. We should be able to be protected. And again, you know, okay, that is happening to random men, but like, like, aren't men talking to men? Like, aren't any of these men have mothers, sisters, wives, like anything of that sort? And why is it okay to treat some women like trash and some women not? I don't get this movement. I really, really, really don't. I really rathered <laughs> you do the passport bro thing. What happened to that? You know, you were getting passports going abroad and getting to yourself another woman. With, go back to that. Go back to that. Don't come here. For those of you who don't know, I live in, in Bangkok, Thailand. I don't like passport bros, but like, but yeah, but, but, but do that. Don't hurt women. Come and uh, think you can fool Asian women because you can't and they're smarter than you think. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you're the one who's going to get fucked over. <laughs> you just don't know that yet, but whatever. That's another topic. The best advice I can give is, is to, of course, be vigilant, like, be aware of your surrounding even though you shouldn't. Try not to wear things that makes you flashy even though, like, damn, you're in New York, so pff, you're in the capital where fashion is born. I mean, it's not Paris, but like, still. I think this is just a sad day for us. To know that there is a movement out there of men that just deliberately just wants to hurt women. Of course, if something similar happens to you, or you experience this, you being in New York or anywhere else in the world, please report this. Please report it to the police. No matter what happens. No matter what happens. If they can't find anything, if they're not going to do anything, whatever, report it to the police. Because at least they have some sort of record. And this guy could do it to somebody else, and because he would, it would be on record, they can put things together. Like always report these things to the police never think that this is like a never mind moment you know i'm just going to accept this no no you go to the police you report it you know yes you do that's one thing that i hate about women is that like we fear so much in our lives that you know we don't take the time or we don't think it's worth it or sometimes we're shamed by our society to not go and report things that are important to be reported and you know give yourself that like love yourself enough to understand that you're worthy that you shouldn't be abused that things that are being wrong done to you well you can do something about it and the something is to report it no matter what just report it that's also one of my best advice anyways what is it that you think of this do you have any opinion do you know why they're doing this do you have any idea if you do, please let me know, because I want to know what's going on in New York. I mean, I don't want to go to New York, I don't want to be there, but I want to know if the girlies are safe, you know? Let's get the word going. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. That is it for me today, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.